हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सिंप्लीफाइड बायोलॉजी टूडेट्स टॉपिक इज रेगुलेशन ऑफ जीन एक्सप्रेशन नाउ व्हाई जीन एक्सप्रेशन इज नीड टू बी रेगुलेटेड देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ जीन्स प्रेजेंट वन द कंस्टिट्यूटिव जीन्स एंड द सेकंड नॉन नॉन कंस्टिट्यूटिव जीन्स कंस्टिट्यूटिव जीन्स आर दोस जीन्स विच प्रोडक्ट्स आर ऑलवेज रिक्वायर्ड बाय द सेल means these genes continuously transcribe and translate you can say they are need required for the survival of the cell such genes are known as housekeeping genes the non constitutive genes are those genes whose products are not always required by the cell so if these genes continuously transcribe and translate there will be a lot of wastage regulation of expression of such genes is a must and in prokaryotes these genes are regulated at the transcription level that is during the formation of rna from dna there are two systems of regulations one is an inducible system and the second a repressible system the inducible system is always off and the best example of the inducible system which we are going to study is lacoperon the repressible system is always on and the example of repressible system is tryptophan operon now let's see the inducible system in the inducible system addition of a substance called the inducer induces or you can say causes transcription of certain genes these genes are known as inducible genes they products are inducible enzymes and they are always associated with catabolic processes the example is enzyme required for lactose catabolism which we will study in lacoperon in the repressible system addition of a substance called co-repressor stops the transcription of certain genes these genes are known as repressible genes they enzymes are repressible enzymes and they are always asso- associated with anabolic processes example is the tryptophan synthesis enzymes in formed for the formation of tryptophan the amino acid the operon consists of different sets of genes first are the structural genes the structural genes transcribe to form messenger rna that translate to form the proteins lying next to the structural genes are the operator gene and the promoter gene to the promoter gene binds rna polymerase also present is a regulator gene which synthesizes a protein called the repressor that has the capability to bind to the operator now how the operon operates now when the repressor binds to the operator rna polymerase cannot bind to the promoter so rna polymerase if it doesn't bind to the promoter there can be no transcription and no translation so you can say the operon is off when the repressor does not bind to the operator rna polymerase binds to the promoter transcription and translation occur and you can say the operon is on now let's study the lacoperon in detail Lacoperon was given by Jacob and Monod in E. coli. It's an example of the inducible system, which is always off. The inducer here is lactose, or you can say an uh, isomer of lactose called allolactose. When lactose is available, a small amount of it changes into allolactose, which acts as the inducer. The structural gene. in the lacoperon is polycystronic it has three sets of genes z y and a 
Z codes for beta galactosidases, which breaks down lactose into glucose and galactose. Y codes for beta galactoside permease, which is a transport protein that pumps lactose into the cell. While A codes for beta galactoside transacetylase, which transfers an acetyl group to galactoside. Z, Z and Y are the two genes required for lactose catabolism. Now in the absence of lactose, the repressor produced by the regulator gene is an active repressor which can bind to the operator. Lactose is absent means there is no inducer. So when the repressor has bind to the operator, RNA polymerase cannot bind to the promoter. There will be no transcription and translation of the structural gene. In the presence of lactose means the inducer is present. This inducer binds with the repressor produced by the regulator gene, making it inactive, due to which the repressor cannot bind to the operator. Hence, RNA polymerase binds with the promoter. Transcription and translation occurs. Means the Z, Y, and A gene transcribe and translate to form the proteins beta galactosidases, permeases, and transacetylase. This is how gene regulation takes place in prokaryotes. Now, in eukaryotes, genes can be regulated at different levels. First is the transcription level, that is during the formation of RNA from DNA. Second is processing level, that is when the heterogeneous nuclear RNA is converted into messenger RNA. During this stage, splicing occurs where the interons are removed and the exons are joined to each other to form the messenger RNA. Third, during the transport of messenger RNA from nucleus to cytoplasm. As transcription occurs in the nucleus and translation occurs in the cytoplasm. Fourth, translation level, that is during the synthesis of proteins in the cytoplasm. Thank you. Thank you for watching.